Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, uh, a lot of you guys who have followed me on the blog or YouTube or social media, you guys know that one thing I like to say is buy books, not gear. Meaning, instead of going out and always wanting to buy the new camera, equipment, lenses, it's better to uh, buy books or education to improve your photography because, trust me, I've gone through it all. Um, Whatever advice I give is all the crap that I've dealt with in the past. I always thought my camera wasn't good enough, so I started with like a Canon point and shoot, bought a, a Rebel 350D or Rebel XT, then got a full frame camera because people told me you need to be, you have a full frame camera if you want to be a real t a photographer. I was really passionate about street photography, so it's like, okay, Henri Cartier Brisson was the master, he shot with Leica, I need a Leica, you know buy a Leica M9, then everyone's telling me that I should try a shooting film, get a film camera, a film Leica, a film uh, M6, then you, I wanted something even cooler, so I bought an MP, was interested in medium format, so started shooting medium format. And I have to say that every single step of the way where I switched to different camera, I didn't actually improve my photography. I mean, of course, it, learned me how, it taught me how to use different gear, but the only thing that's really helped me become a better photographer is investing in photography books, education, and just kind of uh, educating myself in terms of how to make better images. And if you think about it, photography books are a much, much better investment than gear because any camera you buy today, two years down the line, is going to be like 50% cheaper than you bought today. But when you buy photography books, they're an investment that lasts essentially forever that often go up in value like for example some of my style books especially William Eggleston's book I, it was quite expensive I bought um, his Eggleston's chromes for about $300 and I think now on Amazon you find a secondhand couple for like over a thousand bucks and I've even seen some people on the internet say, show that uh, their photo book library collection has actually yielded them more profits than the stock portfolio and uh, like the great thing with photo books too is uh, this is one book that I got from uh, my buddy uh, Ted Waite, he runs, um, he's one of the editors for this uh, publication called uh, Rocky Nook. And there's a photographer, fantastic photographer named uh, Dan Winters. And the great thing about looking through a photography book is that it helps you just kind of get into the mind of the photographer and to really think about, you know, the emotions, the depth and the mood of the photographer. And one thing I love is just sitting down, having a nice cup of coffee, looking at images and it's much more soothing and therapeutic than looking at photos on a screen all day which most of our are just kind of addicted to our smartphones myself included and just gives you a chance to kind of zen out and so know that with any sort of good photography book it's a great companion that will last you for the rest of your life and i think up until now uh, in the last four years i've probably spent at least seven thousand dollars on photo books and once again it's a ton of money but it's yielded me so much more photographic insight than any of the cameras I ever bought. And the way I see it too is that it's still a lot cheaper than going to photography school, which could be like $200,000. So invest in your own education by attending photography classes, workshops, um, tutorials, buying, uh, buying photography books, uh, traveling to places which you think could be a good experience to teach you more about photography, meeting up with other photographers. And you know, and once again, trust me, I'm totally guilty of this myself too. Anytime I feel uninspired with my photography, I think, oh, if I just got a new camera, that new lens, that new whatever, it'll help inspire me. But it lasts for about a week or two and it never really helps me beyond that. But buying a great photography book is something that will just infuse your mind with great images, the texture, the paper, the feeling of flipping through the pages. And uh, not only that, but it's things you could give to your future children. And uh, some practical tips. Maybe just buy one good photography book a month. You know, usually a good photo book's like 40 to 50 bucks. Not cheap, but as long as you just buy once a month. I think it's better. This is one mistake that I bought is uh, I made was I'd buy too many photo books and look at all of them only once or twice. Rather, I would say, you know, maybe once a month just buy a photography book and look at it like 20, 30, 40, 50 times. And even for me at the end of the day, there's only about 10 photo books which have really, really inspired me deeply that have influenced my photography the most. Um, some of them being off the top of my head, Magnum Contact Sheets, um, any book by Joseph Kudelka, especially Exiles and Gypsies by Joseph Kudelka, uh, a lot of William Eggleston's books which are beautiful, Chrome's which is expensive, uh, any of his other books are, are also pretty good. The printing on is fantastic. Almost any book published by Steidl, S-T-E-I-D-L, the, the quality is amazing. Um, one of my favorite educational books was uh, Road to Seeing by Dan Winters. Beautiful printing and great insights from uh, Dan. And 
let's see, Alex Webb, The Suffering of Life, uh, The Suffering of Light, that's a good one. Um, yeah, that's that's the ones I can think of off the top of my head for now. But once again, there's so many good photo books out there. I usually get my books on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. Or you could always go to the local library, rent them. Uh, or go to a photo book store, look at the photo books, don't buy them if you're kind of limited on, on cash. But I think any great photographer, you don't really need more than 10 photo books as long as they're the ones that really speak to you. And try not to buy photo books that you don't plan on looking more than once. So once again, buy books, not gear. It's always fun to share images on social media. I think it's better to show off your photo books than your gear. So anytime you upload a photo book on uh, social media, just do a hashtag buy books not gear and stay connected with the photo book community lots of great photographers out there making books too think about making a book by yourself on your own you know you could just use blurb.com or get them printed at a local printer even go to fedex or kinko's and make your own little copy with uh, xerox copies and yeah be happy buy photography books not gear and i can guarantee i'll make you a better photographer okay so until next time guys peace out